again, Becky with LuminEarth.com and we're in the woods today looking for wild edibles and medicinals and I found some broadleaf plantain down here. The uh, other common names for this plant is common plantain, broadleaf plantain, great plantain, um, greater plantain, ripple grass, waybread, waybroad, snakeweed, cuckoo's bread, Englishman's foot, and white man's foot. This plant grows from a short, tough root stock, or rhizome, which has a large number of long, straight, yellowish roots. Um, for harvesting this plant, you gather the young edible leaves in the spring. You can gather it after the flower spike forms, they call this here the flower spike, and dry later for herb use. The young leaves are edible as raw in a salad or can be cooked as spinach. Medicinally, um, Plantain contains acubin, which is reported to be a powerful antitoxin. The leaves and seed are medicinal, used as an antibacterial, antidote, astringent, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antitussive, cardiac, diuretic, expectorant, laxative, ophthalmic, poultice, refrigerant, and vermifuge. There are med medical evidence exists to confirm uses in alternative medicine for asthma, emphysema, bladder problems, bronchitis, fever, hypertension, rheumatism, and blood sugar control. This plant causes a natural version to tobacco and is currently being used in stop smoking preparations. The extracts of this plant have antibacterial activity. It is safe and effective treatment for bleeding. It stops blood flow and encourages repair of damaged tissue. The recipe for medicinal herb tea for colds and flu is to use one tablespoon of dry or fresh whole plantain, and that means seed, root, and leaves, to one cup of boiling water. You steep it for 10 minutes, strain, and sweeten, and then you drink it throughout the day. You can also make a healing salve with this plant. Um, what you need to do for that, in a large non-metallic pan, place a pound of the entire plant chopped, one cup of lard, cover and cook on low heat until it's all mushy and green. You strain it while it's hot and then cool it and use it later for burns, insect bites, rashes, and cold sores. And that can also be used as a night cream for wrinkles.